divine one. Mm. There. Oh. My jackals have your hounds at bay. Dogs at bay are dangerous. When they walk upright and feed on temple grain. Of course, of course. You've been bringing petitions against Moses for months. Well, the city's being built and I'm winning this game. So don't interrupt us with trifles. Before your city is finished, these trifles will surprise mm -hmm. you. Life is full of surprises. <laughs> oh. And today I have one for you, my kitten. Moses. Mm-hmm. And Ramses. You crocodile. Triples! You've lost. I'll never let you win again. Uh -huh. You thought that by losing to me, you would win for Moses. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, crowns are sometimes lost by smiles and dimples. And so is patience. Yours? Are the plans my jubilee complete? All but your proclamation for the marriage of Prince Ramses to Nefertiri. No. Are you quite sure it'll be Ramses? Who else could be your successor? Moses, of course. Because of Moses, there is no wheat in the temple granaries. You don't look any leaner. You're both very generous with your advice. Will you take mine? No, I will choose my own successor. Head, my sweet. I sent you to Goshen to bring me the head of the jackal who would free the slaves. Where is it? The slaves do not need the deliverer now. They have Moses. Is that a riddle? He gives them the priest's grain and one day in seven to rest. They call it the day of Moses. This man makes himself a god. I prefer him as a man. You would prefer him as Pharaoh. Are you afraid of Moses? Yes. Because now he holds Ethiopia in his left hand, Goshen in his right, and you, my pharaoh, are in between them. Do you imply that he would raise the slaves against me? I've been his father. Ambition knows no father. Moses could no more betray you than I could, said he. He can tell me that when he arrives. You will not be here, my father. What? I sent for both of you. His word is that he cannot attend you being pressed by other matters. Did you hear that? Other matters? My escort. I will ride with you, my son, to see what rears itself in Goshen, the city or treason. You lying at her. You'll destroy yourself with your own venom if you try to turn Seti against Moses. You would turn Seti against me. Remember, my sweet, that you must be wife to the next pharaoh. That you are going to be mine. All mine, like my dog or my horse or my falcon, only I will love you more and trust you less. <laughs> you will never do the things to me you would have done to Moses. I know you, my sweet. You're a sharp-clawed, treacherous little peacock. But you're food for the gods. And I'm going to have all of you. None of me. Did you think my kiss was a promise of what you'll have? No, my pompous one. It was to let you know what you will not have. I could never love you. Does that matter? You will be my wife. You will come to me whenever I call you. And I will enjoy that very much. Whether you enjoy it or not is your own affair. But I think you will. <laughs> 